Hey YouTube, it's ICU2 here, and as some of you may recall, a couple weeks back I posted a video on my other channel that showed you how to get your iDevice up to 25% faster. Well now using an extension of the same method and also another method, I'm going to show you guys how to get your iDevice up to 45% faster. So first what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to be able to SSH into your device, meaning you have open SSH installed on it, and you're also going to have to have mobile terminal on it. So just download those two things if you don't have them, and then we're just going to go ahead and get on into it. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to remove launch daemons. Now launch daemons are little processes that start up with your device and they consume memory. They get rid of some useless functions and still allow some other functions to work correctly, just they won't start up with your device and they'll be a little bit slower, but overall your device will be completely faster. So I'm going to include this in uh, the description. And uh, these are the safe daemons that have no effect on your device. These are conditional daemons that have some effect on your device. For example, if uh, you've ever been browsing the internet and uh, you've been running low on RAM and it just automatically quits out of uh, Safari and you get really ticked at it, this is the daemon responsible for this. So you can remove that if you want. And I'll show you how to remove these daemons in a second. And this one also. It uh, deals with receiving and making calls, so uh, if you're an, on an iPod Touch or on an iPad, you can just remove that, and uh, it'll have no effect on you, but if you have an iPhone and you use it to make calls, don't remove it, and these are ones that you never want to remove, and these are ones that you get when you jailbreak your device, and you install these applications, but if you uninstall them, they're still there, so you can look for these and uninstall, or and delete them if you want. And yeah, so basically just look over this and figure out which ones you want to delete. And I'm going to actually show you how to go in and delete them now. So you're going to need an SSH client and you're going to just SSH into your device. And by default, the password is Alpine, A-L-P-I-N-E. And you're just going to go to the very back uh, directory, which is just the backslash, and then go into system and then into the only folder inside of system, which is library. And then inside of library, you're going to go to launch daemons. Now, here on your desktop or wherever you want, you're going to make a new folder, and you're going to call that folder whatever you want. I'm just going to call it iPhone Daemons. And then you're just going to take all those daemons, and you're just going to drag them into that folder. And basically what we're doing is we're just backing them up and assuring that you have them in case you ever need to do it so you don't have to restore your device. Uh, then basically you can just open it up, and you can search here for the ones that you want to delete. And... Uh, you can just find the ones that you want to delete here and then just search them in here and delete them. And I'll be back once I've deleted all the ones I want. So I started out with 60 and now I have 36. So I've removed quite a few and uh, I'm going to show you how to get them on your device or get the other ones off rather. Basically just go down and delete all of them inside of it. Every single one of them. And then you're just going to take this and you're just going to scroll down to the bottom select and select your modified ones and then just copy them all over. And also, this is just a second backup, so I backed it up two times. I have one folder with the modified one, one with the previous one, so I can just uh, put back on the other ones if I ever want to. And uh, now that you've done that, I'm going to show you the other method. Now, this method is to remove language packs, and I have two different options here. There's one where you get to pick which ones you want to remove, and it actually asks you for every single language pack on your device, and then there's one where it actually removes all of them except English and Japanese. The, ja or the Japanese one would be for the Emoji uh, icon pack, so basically you're just going to rename the one that you want to whatever you want because you're going to have to remember that later. Now I already have mine renamed to OK.SH. Or, and then you're going to go back into the SSH on your device, and you're just going to go to VAR, and then mobile, and then just paste it on in there. And then I already have it in there, so I'm just going to overwrite it, and then right-click, properties, and then you're going to have to set the properties to 0755. And if you're on a Mac, or if you use Cyberduck, or whatever it may be, and you can't put a 0 in front of it, that's fine, just put 755. And then since my properties were already 755, I don't get the OK button. And then just click the OK button. Your properties will be all set for that. So once you have that, you can completely close out of uh, your SSH client. And just to take note, before I've resprung or before it's recognized that I've removed the daemons or the language packs, it says that I have 49 free megabytes of uh, RAM. So, so now you're going to have to open up Terminal to actually remove the language packs. Okay, so once Terminal's loaded up, you're going to type in SU and then hit return. 
and then for the password you're going to type in alpine a l p i n e or whatever you may have changed it to and then once you're here you're going to put a period then a backslash then whatever you named the file mine was ok.sh and then depending on which one you picked it'll uh ask you if you want to remove all of them or it'll start to ask you uh, which ones you want to remove and I'm just going to type in Y because I want to remove all of them except English and Japanese and then hit OK and now it's saying that it might take a minute or two to remove all of them so I will be back when it's removed all the other languages that are useless. Okay so now I'm back and it said it's deleted 3055 language pack dictionaries uh, so that's a lot guys and this will speed your device up substantially so uh, once you've done that basically you're just gonna have to reboot your device and just compare the results so I'll be back when my device is finished rebooting okay so when I rebooted my device it had 55 free megabytes of memory which is a lot compared to 49 but I'm gonna show you how to get it even faster because this one actually frees up more than just 55 and it'll take effect of the changes that we just made so go into Cydia and go to search and then type in memory tap memory and then just tap and then get the one from mod my eye because that's the official one and then install confirm and you don't need to add any sources to get this mod my eye just comes standard when you jailbreak your device okay so once it's finished installing you're gonna have to restart your springboard and I will be back when my device is resprung so now that I'm back I'm in settings and I'm gonna choose how to activate memory tap so I'm going to scroll down and then in activator I'm going to go to anywhere and then I think I'm going to do sleep button short hold and then I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to set it to memory tap so now I'm going to go to the home screen okay so I just activated memory tap and uh, it said I had 64 megabytes of free memory but it's going down now to 61 to 62 ish so yeah just a side note uh, removing the launch daemons works for the iPad uh, just the same way but if you do the language pack or but if you attempt to do the language packs it won't work even if you use ISSH as your terminal client just because uh, it doesn't have the same privileges as mobile terminal does and it won't let you access it so yeah uh, I just showed you guys how to make your device substantially faster and this is ICU2 signing out